And we continue learning Mesilas Yisharim Yaimi with this absolutely incredible Hachzik program. We Baruch Hashem are basically caught up over here. We're holding on page 367 in the arts called Mesilas Yisharim as we continue learning about Chasidus. Says the Ramchal, Vekama Dvarim is hero. And how many times have Chazal warned us that what? The mitzvah should not be bosly, contemptible, disgusting to us. They've already said, If you hold a Sefer Torah with your bare hands, this is why we don't touch the cloth. You'll be nikbar arum. He'll be very naked. The nebizoi mitzvah. Because it's a bizayin. What are you touching a sefer Torah with the utmost kedusha with your hands? The seder he la bikurim ye lanu einayim. So says the Ramchal. Let's go back. What did we talk about yesterday? We spoke about hider mitzvah. We spoke about mitzvahs are not just to do them, not just to check off that box, but rather to do them with the utmost beauty. So says the Ramchal. Let's bring an incredible proof to this to this idea how important the hider, the beautification of a mitzvah is. Says the Ramchal, The whole process, the whole procession, the ceremony of bringing up the Bikurim to Yushalayim, this is a Yelanu that should open up our eyes. And this should be a guiding light in teaching us what is our attitude towards Mitzvahs in general. Lerois ma'u adaron shal mitzvah. What is the hider? Shekach shaninu says the Mishnah and Bikurim as we turn over the page. Ha'ashar ha'yilech levnei and ve'karnav mitzvah paizav. As they would carry the Bikurim, what would happen? The ox would walk ahead of him. And what would the ox have? The karnav mitzvah paizav. The horns would be overlaid with gold. Va'atara shal zayis be'roishai. And a wreath of an olive branch would be on this ox's head. Similarly, the Mishnah Bikurim says, The Bikurim, the Ashirim, the wealthy people, they would bring their Bikurim in baskets of gold. They would bring it in willow baskets. We see again, to bring in a basket of gold, because that's a mitzvah. It's a mitzvah Bikurim, so what do you do? You bring it in gold. And similarly, it says over there, Shalosh Midas Ba Bikurim, Be Bikurim, Teisafis Bikurim, Veta Bikurim. The three parts of Bikurim. The Bikurim, the Teisafis Bikurim, the supplemental Bikurim, and the Etor Bikurim. And we see the adornment, the Etor, the crown, the golden basket, is included as one of the intrinsic components of this mitzvah. Says Ramchal, we see how much was to add on to the mitzvah itself, in order to adorn it. And this is why we have silver estrogen boxes, and silver minayras, and beautiful mezuzah cases, all to take the mitzvah, to take the bikurim, and put it in that gold basket, and adorn it as much as possible. And finally, says Ramchal, another extension of Hidr mitzvah. Vamru says the Gemara in Shabbos, Rava Rami Pizmaki Umitzali. Rava would put on a nice pair of shoes and then daven. Amar, why? He going likras and lekechli Yisrael. Prepare yourself to greet, to meet Hashem. This is the makar, this is the source to get dressed appropriately for davening. Put on a jacket for some and a hat, perhaps a gartel. Oydam Rava Tzina Zechon Lev Racha. What do we see? We see that Rava himself dressed a certain way. So not only is the mitzvah itself, but the person dressing a certain way in order to be mahader, to beautify the mitzvah. The Pasuk says that Rivka took the garments of Esau and he gave it to Yaakov. That I would serve my father while wearing the dirty clothing. When I went out to travel, he would put on clean clothing. Aval Esav, Kishayim Shamish, as Aviv, Leyem Shamish, Elbe Big Day Malchos. So we see when he was doing the mitzvah of Kivanav, not only is the mitzvah itself require Hidr, but the person doing the mitzvah, this level of Hidr, to wear the beautiful clothing. If this is true for a mere flesh and blood to serve Yaakov Avino, 
excuse me, when you're standing in front of Hashem to Davin, you should be wearing honorable clothing. We should sit in front of him like one sits in front of a great king. Or we conclude, included in this, honoring Hashem, honoring the mitzvahs is, honoring Shabbos, Kodesh, and Yantif. The more we're mechaved, the more that we honor Shabbos and Yontif, we're giving Hashem pleasure. As the Pasuk in Yeshaya says, You have to honor it, Shabbos. Now that we see that it's clear that Kavod is part of the Mitzvah, there's many forms of Kavod, many forms of honored, honor for Shabbos. We conclude with this rule. Anything that you're doing that seems is giving off an honor to Shabbos, we have to do it as another intrinsic and incredible detail of Hidr Mitzvah.